A raccoon is able to walk thanks to a group of students at Central Hardin High School. A wildlife sanctuary rescued the raccoon and named him Boone. He couldn't walk due to a neurological condition. So they asked engineering students to build him a wheelchair. It, and it took them a few tries to get it just right. Oh, it was definitely not the first time. It was, yeah. it was um, I think we had five prototypes and there were six of us working on it. Yeah, we all had so many different plans and ideas on the different designs we had. But uh, we first started just, just making and then we just over testing and prototyping with him and with um, just looking at it and stuff, we we, we could see the, like what to fix and how to fix it. And then we fixed it later and made it better and keep, keep making it better until we got to our final product. We went through, I believe, five prototypes yeah. and with the fifth one being our final. First, we started with just standard pine wood and PVC and the pine ended up snapping and not being very strong. So we moved to ash, which tend to be a lot stronger, but heavier. So then we just went to pure PVC, which ended up being our final design. We just went through the steps of the design process to get to that final solution. So what was that moment like when you were able to see what you had created and how it was giving this raccoon a chance to do something that it hadn't been able to do? What was that like? Uh, it was kind of like a just a crazy feeling that like it that raccoons never walked before and now you made it like your you and your team has helped it make it walk for the first time. It's kind of like a crazy feeling. Yeah, it was it was definitely emotional. Everyone there was like either crying with tears of joy or just like in awe that we actually were able to help him because he has a fairly serious disability. Cerebral hyperpalsy is the name of it. Mm -hmm. And I don't think so. I don't, I don't, it I don't really it's, cerebral, it's cerebral hyperpalsy. And Pleasure. Pleasure. Yeah. One of the two. <laughs> and he has it's a nerve disorder where you can't control his limbs whatsoever but he has the strength to push. So all we had to do for him is give him the ability to stand up and support him and give him enough pressure. And that moment watching him do it was just emotional. Great job by the students.